Brian and I met on a field view for a threatened endangered species called an Allegheny wood rat for a highway project a long time ago. And uh, he and I got paired up to perform uh, the study and just became friends. I don't know that there was one, any one certain thing that pushed us uh, to pursue our idea of starting a business. We both knew that we had uh, a firm foundation to build on and were able to push projects through the process for another consulting firm all over the country. Uh, so after talking about it for a good deal of time, we decided that it would be something that we thought that we could do on our own. There was not really one thing that pushed us into making the decision to start our own business. It was more of a desire to give it a try. We, we, it's something that I felt internally that, uh, uh, and personally that if I didn't do this, then I was going to regret it when I was 80 years old looking back on my life. The first year of the company, well that's just something to smile about because it'll always be near and dear to my heart. Uh, the first year was tough. Uh, but to tell you the truth, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Uh, it was a very uh, intricate part of uh, the growth of our company, and always remembering where you came from is important in heading for the future. The growth of our business has been phenomenal. We feel that we've, we're very blessed in that uh, we've had uh, a lot of work, a lot of repeat work, and the dedication that we have to our clients and to our projects is probably the key for uh, our growth. Our company really started off uh, just working on the consulting t end of projects, uh, but had quickly developed into at least two different sectors where we are working in the uh, coal, oil and gas industry and also doing construction of our projects. So we've really separated into three separate arms of our business today. The one word that describes WPI, I would say energetic. We have, uh, we're very busy and it takes a lot of energy to keep everything moving in the direction that it needs to. If I had to choose one word to describe WPI, I would have to say that word would be energetic. Um, both given by the age of the employees that are hired here and by the drive and tenacity of the owners of the company in pursuing the original thoughts of their idea for the company and taking them through to the future. One of the best compliments I think that we have received in working with clients is that this client told us that they're getting the product of a big company firm at a small company's firm price. So that really says something about the quality of work that we strive to achieve at WPI. The most important thing that we can do for our clients is to understand their project. We really listen to them and based on our knowledge of the regulatory process, we know how to ask the right questions to make sure that their permitting process and everything else goes as smoothly as possible. Because we have so many years of combined experience here in the office with all of our staff, we know the potential pitfalls that can occur within a project. And that really helps us to guide projects along, telling our clients what might happen down the road. Establishing a long-term relationship with our clients is very important to us in that we can creatively present solutions to their project needs. One of the first things I think that we try to communicate to a client when we first meet with them is that we have a clear and concise understanding of the problem and the need that they have and that we've been through these situations before. We're able to completely understand where they're at in the process of a permitting project from the very beginning. The one thing I'd like our clients to take away from working with us on a project is that we accomplish their goals in an efficient manner and they had a good time. I believe as we're working forward through projects and dealing with clients that it's also important for WPI and, and the employees of WPI to get involved with uh, community members at a local level, both from uh, planting days and volunteer days and, and, and working with 
organizations within the community to further strengthen and develop the relationships with those in the community. Brian and I plan on opening satellite offices over the next couple of years to help expand our presence in a larger geographic region. I would say the future of WPI looks pretty bright at this point in time. Uh, we're presently looking at opening up a branch office in southwestern Pennsylvania. Uh, we're expanding our construction division and we will likely be growing into a new home office at some point in the near future. So the future is looking up for WPI.